And so how did if you you had Nicki Minaj, you started her career. So how did she go from from you to Deb to Lil Wayne? That's what she does. Nicki's a groupie. I mean, Nicki jumped from Nicki started with me in 06, 07. I met her on MySpace. She had like a flyer page. I switched it around. You know, her name was Nicki Mirage when I met her. I changed her name to Nicki Minaj. And I actually got into like a big argument with her family because she felt like Nicki didn't like the name Minaj. She felt like I was the greatener. Like, mm-hmm. oh, that you're trying to, you know, take me to a whole nother situation. And then I was like, nah, they can need it for marketing. I actually called Jay to kiss up. I called Bust Up. I was like, how you feel about Nicki Minaj? They was like, oh, that's that's hard. So, you know, we started off we started off like that. Um, she was actually signed, she's actually still signed to my production company, which is Dirty Money. And um I did like a I did like a hundred and eighty day deal. Like I didn't really do a you know, like I believe in I don't want to hold nobody artist. You mm-hmm. know, give me hundred eighty days, I get you a major deal. If not, you walk away. Mm-hmm. I got the I got the young money deal in like um how long? It took me like seventy days to get the young money deal. I bought the it was a young money, dirty money deal. So when I got the contract, Nikki started ducking me, like because you know, Wayne Wayne gave me one of those cash money contracts from the eighties, which it was no it was no royalties on it. It was no, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. it was no advance. It was nothing. So I told Nikki, like, yo, I ain't signing this contract. I ain't going to let you do that to yourself. <laughs> she started crying. She was like, yo, and I was like, whoa, what are we what I'm upset about? Like, we ain't going to do this. So that's the kind of contract Nikki got? Nah, Nikki might got a better contract okay, now. Okay. You know, she, you know, through all her groupie, and she, she made up, she, she, she found a way. So anyway, we got the contract, so... I'm telling her, now nah, we're not signing this. So I made Wayne host a mixtape called Sucker Free. So, you know, I'm like, listen, we'll make him do something to get us more hotter. Then we'll go back and do another contract. So we got the we got the uh, mixtape done. So then all of a sudden, um, who called me? Oh, E.I. called me. He was like the president of Young Money. He called me up. He was like, yo, yo, why Nicki out here on the I Am Music Tour without you? I'm like, Nicki on the I Am Music Tour? Well, who was on the I Am Music Tour at the time? T-Pain. Wayne, they, okay. they had Drake open up. Everybody had like open the sections. Okay. So I was like, "What Nicki doing the Iron Music tour?" He was like, "Yo, I don't know, but you need to be out here." So I flew out to a date they had in Chicago, and I saw Nicki. I was like, "Yo, what's up?" She walked right past me. Mm. I was with Mike Lighty, which is Chris Lighty, rest in peace, Chris Lighty. So mm-hmm. I was with Mike Lighty. So Mike grabbed her up, like, "Yo, what the fuck? What you doing?" So we we spoke. She was like, "Oh, Debbie said." And Debbie, well, you know, Debbie Anthony was his walker mom. Mm-hmm. So I met Debbie in North Carolina. I was doing a lot of concerts out there with Gucci Man. So um, I said, Debbie, I got an artist named Nick- Nikki. I want you to manage her. Because Debbie was doing her thing. She had Walker. She had, no, she Walker wasn't even rapping at the time. She mm-hmm. had OJ and Gucci. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, this is a good idea. Gucci, the hottest guy in the country right now. Wayne, the hottest mainstream guy. I'm going to put a, you know, I had a, I had a plan to put it together. So I told Nikki about it. Nikki was like, well, who is Gucci Man? I said, Gucci, you don't know who Gucci is? She was like, no, but she was with it because I had the plan. So Debbie called me up like two weeks later, like, oh, I like your artist. I gave her the mixtape. She was like, I like your artist. We need to set up a meeting. I had a birthday party in North Carolina, and um, Debbie called me up like, yo, well, we can't make the birthday party um, on a Sunday. Can we fly Nikki to Atlanta? I was like, yo, my paperwork is good. Yo, go ahead and go to Atlanta. Nikki went out there, and then Debbie brainwashed her. Debbie got out there. You know, Debbie got her little tactics, yo. You know, I guess she t- De- Debbie hit her with the well, f- you know, you know, Nicki Minaj. That, I don't know about that name. You know, he's he's trying to take you in the wrong direction. So I'm like, hold on, Debbie, you my homegirl. How you poisoning my artist after I put you on tour? Mm-hmm. So I called Debbie. She was like, Fendi, I was gonna meet Nicki already anyway. We got neutral friends from Queens. I was like, what? Oh, okay. Well, okay, I hear that. So then I had a birthday party coming up again. Mm-hmm. So I called Nikki. I'm like, yo, my birthday party coming up. You know, we do this annually. I was bringing Nikki to North Carolina to do my birthday parties when nobody knew who she was. It was her and Pinky. Every every Sunday, I would do a party with her and Pinky. So Nikki was like, well, you need to call Debbie up. I'm like, what the f- am I calling Debbie up for? About my artist? Hmm. So right then, I knew it was like poison in the game. I'm like, all right, you know what? Let's do it the right way. So meanwhile, my contract with Wayne, Young Money, is still moving. So, oh, so while she was running with So Icy, the contract with Wayne was in motion already. It was already in motion. Oh, so, right, okay, so okay. basically, she tried to wait till my contract expired before she signed with Young Money. So I'm like, I, I got with my lawyer. She's like, well, she can't really go around that because if she signed to Young Money, that's still your deal. Like, I still got that contract to this day. That's what I'm in court with. So 
I was like, all right, well, we'll see what happens. He waited like a year, you know, waiting them prolong the situation for a while. You know what I'm saying? And I haven't seen Wayne since then. Like, I know he probably looking for me. He should be. So anyway, um, she prolonged the situation. The next thing you know, I get another phone call. She signed a young money. I'm like, uh, how you sign? How she signed? How she got rid of dirty money off the contract? So she was like, um, that's when um, Safari, the little yeah, gay guy. Who? The gay guy, oh, Safari. Shit. Come on, That's boy, 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 Come on, bro. Scaffy, gay. Hey, 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 gay oh my he gotta god. He got to be gay. He letting her run him over. Ain't no real man running around here acting like that with Scaffy. Come on, well, all right, well, okay, okay. well, whatever, man. Whatever he's doing. Anyway, so he hit me up telling me, yo, you know, Nikki, Nikki wanted to send me some money. And I was excited. I was like, whoa. Oh, Lord. I You're was, doing I, the right thing here. They bought, they bought, we bought to make, you know, and I, I'm not, it's not even about, it's about handling the business the correct way. It ain't about the money. It's about being, doing the right thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, that's what I'm about. So when she called me up, I forgot everything. I was like, oh, they about to set it, we're about to get right. So I was like, no problem. But it was like April the 26th and he hit me. I remember like yesterday. So I was like, I said, hold on, bro. This ain't no April Fool. It's like end of the month. <laughs> oh my he was like, nah, nah, she got you, yo. She got you, yo. I was like, all right. But I was scared to ask how much it was for. I was like, well, listen, you know what? Maybe how much was it for? I'm, listen, I'm going to get to okay, that part. Okay, so I'm like, okay, well, all right, cool. They they asked me for W9s and all that. I'm like, W, oh, I know it's some money. They asked for W9s. <laughs> no house yo, shopping yo, I swear to God, <laughs> everybody was house shopping. I was like, yo, listen. I'm about to close these stores down now here. I'm about to go back home and just, you know, just do the right thing. Yeah. So I got a phone call from her accountant like a month and a half later. Like, I, I was like, oh, it, it hit me with the, the wow, wow. Somebody called me from like an Atlanta number. Like, oh, I you doing? Is this Mr. Moore? I was like, oh, yeah, who is? Oh, well, Onika Mirage. You know, we work for her and um, we work for the firm in Atlanta. And, um, you know, she wants to, you know, she wants to wire you some money. It was, uh, I was like, wow. I was scared to ask how much it was. I was like, all right, well, um, the idea <laughs> what it is she was like well uh you know we just we're gonna sing a w9 you fill it out i'm like i ain't gonna fill a w9 i know how much money i'm getting i didn't know what's going on yeah she was like fifteen thousand. wow my feelings was hurt i was like whoa i was like i was like i said who she said fifteen thousand. i was like y'all can't be serious right now come on how do how do you how do you create an image put it together bring it to life I put her with Young Money. I did everything, mm -hmm. and she offered me fifteen thousand. And actually, they actually sent the fifteen thousand. The money actually came. Honestly, the, the money came, and I was just like, "Oh!" And she's been ducking me ever since. That was.